I've been an artist my entire life since I was a teenager. I fell in love with art because I felt like uh, I could do something that no one else would ever do. Um, even if they were asked to do, uh, say it's an assignment, I'm gonna accomplish that in a way no one else would. So there's this intense individuality that I found in it. It's really uh, challenging and fulfilling to embrace that, um, whether it's in a painting or even more so with tattooing because you're bringing that individual expression to someone who has sought you out specifically to um, embody an idea of theirs. You get to translate that and put a little bit of yourself out into the world. Try to make art about spirituality, kind of psychedelic concepts, anything that will kind of bend a person's brain a little bit. I like to try to raise more questions than deliver answers with art. Artists like Alex Fure, Tool, um, they really shocked me by uh, pointing out very clearly that I was missing something. So if I could do anything with art, it would be to hopefully show someone something that they're not already seeing. I think of my friends and I think that art in general attracts curious minded people, people that are asking questions, tattooing specifically. Um, there's something pretty mysterious about it and it's an extremely difficult craft and it's very high pressure. The people who get into it, uh, they tend to be pretty courageous type of people because you are affecting someone's life. Not everyone respects that, but uh, the people that are really successful definitely do. Um, you value creativity, you value curiosity, you value uh, not being satisfied by the conventional answers about what life's about or what you're supposed to do with your life. Most people that get into tattooing want to see a little bit more out of humanity. I'd always thought tattoos were cool and then uh, my good friend Arlo decided to start his own shop and offered me an apprenticeship if I'd help him get the business going. His artwork's incredible. He's a really cool dude, so it just seemed like the right thing. Part of what's empowering about getting a tattoo is defying your instincts. You have to accept it and stay steady in that chair. And we don't typically approach pain and suffering that way. I moved into and through it. What else can I do? When you study philosophy, you have suddenly more to bring to the table when you create art. Um, you have exposed yourself to new ideas, uh, new understandings, and that will color um, what you create. One of the coolest things about being a tattoo artist or an artist in general is that we get to do something akin to Plato's allegory of the cave where people inside the cave have never seen anything but the shadows on the wall and that's everything they've ever known and sometimes as artists we get to walk into that cave and tap them on the shoulder, turn them around and show them a way out of the cave, show them a bigger world.